All right, I haven't dug it out, dug it out yet, or cut the inside out yet because I'm still trying to figure out uh, how big it, I, how much I need to take out. Uh, what I've decided to do is go ahead and use uh, one of these edge connectors uh, runs right here. It's, for you those who don't know what those are, those are uh, circuit board uh, plug-in connector uh, contacts. Uh, this just happens to be, uh, I think it's a brass with a cold plate on it, and this is just copper uh, with a tin plate on it. Uh, Pace sells these. Also, there's a, a company, uh, if you'll look uh, on the bottom here, uh, this says uh, Circuit. Circuit, and there's the part number for that. So if you go look this company up and this part number, you'll know where to get this. And they sell all kinds of them. Uh, maybe one day I'll do a, a, a short video on uh, circuit kit repair, uh, board repair stuff. So this is uh, just just wide enough to where you can go over here. It won't cover this hole, but I can just overflow that with some solder in that pinhole and not worry about it. And I'll still be able to drop my eyelets in it. So uh, let me get this off size it up and then I'll decide uh, where to cut all right a piece of uh, solder station glass and a sharp exacto should be able to cut that off all right I'm back and initially uh, to repair this I was going to use uh, this little uh, piece of edge board tab but it just doesn't cover up good enough so what I've decided to do is use some uh, copper foil here and you'll notice it's kind of crinkled and stuff. Well, that's because I took it off of an old uh, uh, power supply board. I think it was a computer power supply board or a Wii power supply board. A lot of people, it was on a damage board, so it's, you know, it's all right. A lot of people don't know that you can remove foil from circuit boards. So what I did is I went ahead and I, I removed it and I cleaned it up and I used my flat blade to straighten it out. And it's it's thin now we had some other copper but it was way too thick so that's why I'm going to use this and what I'll do is I'll I'll go ahead and I'll uh, figure out what what area I need to do and I'll dig it out and then I'll put it on there but I'll show you guys how I do it so it'll make sense once I show it to you uh, well let me get to it talk with y'all later okay after looking at this a little bit more uh, corrosion is really really bad in some of this areas and that little piece as I said it's just not gonna cover it it's just not gonna work so uh, I ripped off some uh, some copper foil off of, of another circuit board as I showed you and I've pretty much got it cut out now I have to trim a little bit up in here uh, but I think that'll cover it and after I get all uh, after I get this uh, marked out here, then I'll go in and just inside the board or the area, I'll, I'll cut me like a little lap area. I'll tin that and then I'll glue this down and form fit this into here and then solder all the way around. Then I'll drill my holes and put my eyelets in. So let me get this marked up and I'll show it to you. Got to cut this little side off over here. That's <laughs> all good. Take I'll take care of it. All right. All right. I got that trim now. So let's draw this up in here. There we go. Now what I got to do is just inside here. I got to cut all this copper area out. So let's go get to that. And you do this at a little bit of a, an angle. 
just like this. Maybe I can zoom in on that. And I'll go all the way around. So let me get that. So you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing. Alright, now I've got it pretty much dug out here. All the way around. So now i got to take all the old uh, uh, copper plating off. And you just kind of walk it over like that. So it takes a little time to chip it and peel it. So... Uh, let me get to it. I guess I could zoom in for you. Okay, here we go. Uh, some of it I, I kind of get up underneath it and gently walk it up. And where it gets a little stiff, I just kind of scrape it with the knife. And it'll peel up. Try not to go on this uh, this side and this side at the same time, because this is what you want to keep. So just be careful uh, when you're scraping it that you don't do both sides at the same time. So just kind of go along like this. Try to stay out of the holes too that you've already done it, because you don't want that to scrape down any further than you've already got it. And you might be able to just get in here and gently, you know, push and slide some of that over. If not, just use the tip and just kind of wipe it a little bit with a sharp blade and it'll peel off. And don't worry about it being too rough because you're going to put glue down here, some epoxy, and you want it to grab to the board anyways. So if it's a little rough, it's no big deal. You just don't want to make create any big holes or, or craters in here. So let me get some more of this done and I'll show it to you. There we go. Just doing some more. It's almost like peeling a sticker off sometimes in some cases it gets a little gets in there pretty good though you got to have a really like uh, flat angle to get up underneath it without tearing up the board underneath the copper I mean a little bit's okay because it'll be filled in but you don't want to do too much you can see how how easy this just comes off I mean not super easy, but I mean, it should be a little tougher to get off. But it's so internally corroded that it's in, in a lot of cases it just chips off, like right over here where it just where I was doing it, it just kind of flaked up. So, and the closer you get to the good copper, the harder it will get. So you'll have to be careful. It looks like I got a little bit of a, a channel there, not much of one, but it'll be all right. It'll fill in with epoxy. So, let me uh. Let me get some more done here. I just wanted to show you, you know, a little bit uh, midstream doing it. Let me let me zoom out a little bit here. So you can see I've got, oh, maybe about a third of it done already. So let me keep going. This capacitor keeps getting in the way. I might have to take it out. We'll see. All right. One of the things you can do is as you get closer and you got just smaller pieces, uh, you can just put a hot iron on it to help lift it a little bit. And then go back at it with your knife. Get it too hot, but you can warm it up a little bit and that'll help separate it. 